Okay, let's start the chapter three. And then, so we will uh, study about the basic gross characteristics of ALD in this chapter. So, uh, like, uh, as I mentioned in the previous chapter, the uh, very the important and then very unique gross characteristic of ALD is the surface self-saturated reaction. Oh, okay, let's take a look at what is the surface self-saturated reaction. So if you have this surface, so probably the surface is exposed to the precursor, and then the precursor is uh, precursor absorbed on the surface. So once the all of the adsorption side is occupied by the, all of the precursor, and then there is no available occupy site. So the additional the precursor is cannot absorb on the surface because the precursor itself that does not react with other precursor which already absorb on the surface. Well, that precursor may have may re react with that, but if we your precursor react with already absorbed the precursor, that cannot be used for the ALD process. So this is the surface self saturated reaction. So this is the pretty the good example. Probably if you are not a Korean, you are not very familiar with this, but this is like some the fried uh, the rice. Uh, like very sticky uh the caramel covered with uh the fried rice and then the fried rice it's uh only cover one layer it looks like a surface saturated reaction and then this is the uh the sticky mat used for the clean room and then if the sticky mat is covered with a lot of the dust and then that dust probably has one mono layer because dust itself does not uh is not very sticky and then that does not uh, the stick to the other dust. So this is just uh, one example of the surface saturated reaction. And then this is the uh, sticky fly the ribbon. Once the all of the sticky ribbon is covered with the fly, and then that uh, there is no available absorption site for the fly. That is the surface saturated self saturated reaction. Okay, let me explain the uh, ALD gross characteristic, which is coming from the surface self-saturated reaction. So this is the typical gross characteristic. So if you increase the dose of the precursor of the reactants by changing pressure of the or like the exposure time, the gross rate is increased because at this area, uh, there is available absorption size still in there. But over some specific point, all of the absorption side is occupied by. So, so uh, even with the increase of the dose more, the precursor is cannot absorb on the surface anymore because there is no available absorption side. So the gross rate is saturated. This is the uh, very typical gross characteristic. And then the most of the researcher just show this saturated curve to show their process is the ALD process. So this is the uh, thickness versus ALD cycle. Well, you may expect it that, but once you done like 10 cycle, you can have like, like one nanometer and then 20 cycle, you definitely have two nanometer. So this is the very linear growth. So if you increase the growth cycle, we can have like a linearly increase the thickness area. So this is the very typical one. So this example, if you use like a, uh, well, this is the uh, zinc precursor, diet zinc, that is the most common precursor for zinc and water counter reactant. With increasing the precursor time, increase again, saturated over the precursor exposure time. Very typical one. Saturated value is almost 1.6 ohm per cycle. So this is the platinum precursor and an oxygen counter reactant. And then increase the precursor exposure time. Saturated. And then saturated value is almost 1.5 ohm per cycle. And then the similar one, this is the counter reactant exposure time. Increase saturated. So definitely the saturated value is almost 1.5 five ohms per cycle that is the same with the other one but definitely the saturated growth rate should be same with the other the dose condition 
So uh, there are a lot of the saturate, saturation uh, the behavior, like for example, so we can see what well, typically, like in this graph, well, typically the most of researchers show the saturation behavior over precursor exposure time or reactant exposure time. But so you can see a lot of the saturated uh, saturation behavior, like for example, a bubble temperature, like for example, canister temperature. If you increase the canister temperature, as you, I as I already explained in the chapter one and the review of the fundamentals, the pre uh, increase the temperature, the pressure is increased uh, based on the Clausius Clapeyron equation. So Clausius Clapeyron equation. You take a look at the, the chapter one, and then the bubble temperature. So increase, and then the number of vaporized the precursor molecule is increased, but the growth rate is same because adsorption side number of adsorption side is limited, and then there are some uh, well those is defined by exposure, exposure, and then exposure is defined by the pressure, pressure times the time, exposure pressure and exposure time. So we typically control this, but we can control the pressure instead of the time. So this is the increase of the pressure of the counter reactant growth ration. The growth rate is the same. So the pressure is increased uh, by increasing the temperature. Uh, the pressure is definitely uh, uh, the number of the molecule, and then that is the related to the temperature. So so we can change the a uh, lot of uh, the factor to control the ALD gross characteristic. So this is the why very important is, well, if you have this data, you don't need to heat it up your temper, your the canister up to like 70 degree. You can use this temperature because if you use this, you waste a lot of the precursor molecule and that is the disappear. Uh, well, typically the precursor is very expensive. So this is the saturation over the positive time. So this is the very important uh, uh, two different regimes. And I increase the, uh, the positive time. Typically, the thickness is decreased and it's saturated again. That is the different with like this type increase and saturated the behavior. Because the shorter positive time, the thickness will be larger than the saturated value because the shorter positive time, the precursor and a counter reactant and then byproducts does not have the enough time to be pumped out, evacuated out. So precursor or the counter reactant meet other following precursor or following counter reactant in the gas phase. So the gas phase reaction is taking place on over the surface. So this is the, we usually call that this is the CBD reaction regime. So increase, uh, decrease, and then quite enough positive time. So there is no gas phase reaction anymore. So you can see such saturated value, which is the ALD regime, ALD regime. So let me explain the gross rate and gross per cycle. So as I explained in the previous pages, so the ALD gross characteristic is almost a linear. So increase number of uh, ALD cycle, and then this is the thickness of ALD film. So you have, well, for example, you just deposit 10 cycle, 20 cycle, 30 cycle, you, you measure the thickness, things like that. So um, the, the growth rate, that is the term of uh, the kinetics. So deposition rate of the thin film per cycle. So to obtain the growth rate, so you have to obtain the two different point, like this point and this point. So this is the delta N, like the difference between two different cycles, and this is the delta T. So you obtain this. That means you have to extrapolate polation over this point. So the slope of this curve is the gross rate. But the gross cycle, gross cycle is a little bit different, a really bit different concept that is just deposit amount in one cycle, one cycle. So if you have like, if you obtain like uh, 20 nanometer and 20, uh, uh, 20 cycle, so your 
GPC is very simply calculated by like 20 nanometer and then uh, 20 cycle. So that is a one nanometer per cycle. That is the GPC. So this is not the kinetic time. So the secret of the GPC is probably the growth rate could be changed if you have like some nucleation delay. The slope is looks like this. So you have to check the all of the point if you want really want to obtain the growth rate. So um, as I told you, typically the ALD growth characteristics is very linear. So so this is the linear case number one. But what in the real cases there are a lot of the the, uh, the different types of growth. So there are almost the three cases in the linear growth. First one is very linear, and the thickness. So uh, ALD film thickness is can be defined by K n. K is the growth uh, the growth rate, and then large n i that is the nucleation delay. And then if the nucleation delay is zero, the equation is going to uh, this, and then the thickness is, is is simply calculated by growth rate times the number of ALD cycle. This is the linear growth. But if uh, the nucleation delay is not zero, so probably the slope is changing to looks like this. There are some nucleation delay. So the equation is looks like this: t uh, thickness of the ALD film can be defined by Kn plus large n i. So this is a very typical one. So I will explain what is the nucleation delay and why the nucleation delay is taking place at the initial growth characteristic. But so uh, probably some of the LD process has the nucleation delay, the problem at initial growth. So in the growth uh, uh, case number three, so so in this case, we have the nucleation delay, and then at the same time, we have the different growth rate. So the growth rate is what well, used to be a constant in this case and this case, but in this case, the growth rate is as a function of the surface reaction rate. So the surface is changing, the growth rate is changing. So the equation is going to be T is N F A as a function of A plus uh, the nucleation delay. So because of that, the growth rate is gradually changing. The slope is not the linear anymore. That is the parabolic shape. So slow growth rate, slow growth rate, and then large growth rate. So I will explain what is the reason for that. So let me explain the nucleation delay first. So typically, the nucleation delay is observed in a lot of the uh, metal ALD process on the various uh, surface. So this is a really good example. So they have the three different uh, surfaces, silicon oxide, silicon nitride, and then plasma treated silicon oxide. So as you can see, if you use silicon oxide, uh, where is that, this, this, and then uh, silicon nitride, so you can see some amount of the nucleation delay. But if you use the plasma treated silicon oxide, so there is no nucleation delay. So this is a very typical one. Because the ALD reaction is only uh, taking place on the surface, the surface property strongly affect the growth of the ALD film. So this is the more severe one. So they have like five different surfaces, silicon oxide, gold, platinum, titanium nitride, and titanium oxide. But even on silicon oxide, almost no growth until 200 cycle. But on like platinum and gold, there is no nucleation delay. So this is the incubation cycle, like that is almost uh, as a function of the temperature, but on the platinum and the gold, there is almost no nucleation delay. But TiO to Ti nitride, so very long nucleation delay, and then that is the change, change it at the different temperature. So why the nucleation delay is uh, it uh, presenting in the first initial growth. So there is two different uh, explanations for that. So we need to take the time to change the surface property. If the surface property is dominated by A, like A, and then A is not uh, reactive with the precursor in the counter molecule, that is the change it to B. 
should be changed to B for the active nucleation of the precursor in the counter reactant. So, so we need to take this uh, some time to change from the A to B. And the other explanation is, so we have very small number of the atom on here. So that is not the monolayer anymore. That is not the monolayer at least. So to make the monolayer, we need to take uh, the more time to gather the, all of the very small number of the LD, the deposit material. And then once from that material, uh, once from the one monolayer, the, all of the original surface is changed to deposit material surface. So the surface is changing. So the nucleation delay uh, disappear. So this is the, uh, uh, the, the consequence of the nucleation delay. So the island growth. So this is the ALD copper on deposit on the tungsten nitride. So as you can see, this is the AFA image. So there are very a lot of uh, nuclei and an island. So this is a very typical one. And then this is a really good example. ALD platinum deposit on the three different the substrate, zirconium oxide, aluminum oxide, and then titanium oxide. So even with the same deposition condition, so only on the zirconium oxide, the very high surface coverage of the ALD platinum, but on the TiO2, the ALD platinum coverage was not good because the nucleation delay or like some different nucleation behavior is taking place on this titanium oxide surface. So as I explained in the chapter one, that is the strongly related to the surface energy difference. So this is the Young's equation. If the surface energy of uh, this is smaller than this, so this uh, surface energy is much larger than this, and then the island growth is taking place, but if this surface energy like surface tension, the direction of the surface tension, and then this surface tension, and then this surface tension is the same. The film is can be flat and then spread out the, all of the surface because the, our original surface energy was very high, so the film want to cover the all of the surface. So, uh, so this is the another consequence, and then this is a combinational effect. So nucleation delay and island growth. And then, so as I told you, the uh, at the initial stage, if we have the nucleation delay and an island growth, all of the surface is not occupied by uh, LD material after one or two cycle because there are nucleation delay, island growth. So still there are two different surfaces, uh, uh, surfaces exist at the same time film surface, original surface, definitely two different surfaces, nucleation, uh, the ALD cross rate or GPC are different on different two different surfaces. Once the original surface is covered by uh, the, the film surface, well, that is only one surface is here, and then the cross rate is the same, there is only one cross rate. So this is the, the region. Cross rate is already be changing. This looks like a parabolic and then linear increase. So this is a gross per cycle increase and a decrease a little bit and a saturated. So you can imagine this. And then this is the one good example. Um, there is two, two different surface chemical oxide on the layer, like uh, Pirana clean silicon oxide surface and hydrogen terminated silicon surface, like HF clean silicon surface. In the Pirana clean surface, because the surface energy is very high, like chemical reactivity, the surface is chemically very reactive. The gross coverage is linearly increased. But in the hydrogen terminated surface, chemical reactivity is very small. And a chemical uh, surface, uh, the hydrophobicity is very high. So the first initial growth is looks like a parabolic because the growth rate is changing gradually. So this is the effect of the temperature. So once you increase the temperature, the thickness is increased. This is a typical one. And then almost the same in some temperature region and then increase again. So what is the region for that is at low thermal energy area. So 
the precursor is cannot absorb on the surface because the thermal energy, thermal activation energy is found not enough for that absorption. But increase the temperature is much increase the temperature. The precursor easily absorb on the surface through the decomposition. Like fly does not react with another fly and the sticky fly ribbon, but the fly is changed to very stick and then that is the stick to the another fly. This is the, uh, the example for that, the decomposition. So this is the not ALB, uh, the growth regime. Once we enter this growth regime, we cannot precisely control the thickness of the ALD film. So in this area, moderate thermal energy, we can have like a very well surface saturated reaction. So the temperature can affect the two different facts. First of all, the reaction rate. So if the temperature is increased, the precursor absorption on the surface and then counter reactants react with the precursor that is the reaction rate. So definitely with increasing the temperature, the reaction rate is increased because the rate, uh, uh, reaction rate is as a function of the temperature. And the other one is the nucleation rate. So there are a lot of uh, the many nucleation side on the surface. So that is the strongly depends on, uh, strongly affect the nucleation rate. Like for example, if you have like, a, like 100, 100 chair in a room so the absorption site is the 100 so you have like 100 uh, uh, enough room for the 100, uh, 100 people but interestingly this absorption site is changing a little bit with increase in the temperature like increase in temperature or lower the temperature but the number of absorption site is not changing too much so the absorption side is uh, as a function of temperature, but not strongly affected by the temperature. So probably we uh, we have the limited size of room, so probably you have to you can add some more more chair into the room, but not too many chair. So uh, with increasing temperature, the thickness is not constant. Probably is slightly increased because increase of the nucleation rate. And then that means the increase of the absorption site. So what that was the very typical uh, shape, but with increasing the temperature, there are the other uh, different type of the growth. So this is a small thermal energy decomposition. Well, sometimes at low temperature, the condensation is taking place like low thermal energy. The precursor is just the fizzy job on the surface. And then that is the condensation, very high growth rate. And at high temperature, the precursor, which is already absorbed on the surface, it dissolved again. That is the fly uh, away. So because of that, the growth rate is pretty small. So we have, we call that the, this is the process window. So this is a good example of the plasma LD and uh, zinc oxide LD. So we have process window, Smaller energy, large energy, decrease and decrease again. Platinum, into, uh, process window, decrease and increase again due to the decomposition of the precursor. So uh, let me explain very interesting point, the theoretical GPC and an experimental GPC. So with increasing the temperature, this is a growth rate is saturated. So saturation growth rate value on strong, uh, on, 0.5 Armstrong per cycle. But, so we deposit the platinum film. So the platinum film, uh, platinum atomic radius is 139 picometer. So the, the diameter of the platinum atom is going to be almost the 2.78 Armstrong. So if you deposit one monolayer of the platinum, Probably the most of the non ALD researchers think about the growth rate is saying to this, like they expect is 2.78 Armstrong per cycle, because this is the the minimum height of the platinum monolayer. But growth rate is smaller than this. Well, the most of cases the growth rate is the smaller than 
uh, smaller than the ideal, the one monolayer thickness. Why? So this is the one good explanation for the static hindrance. So probably you have some experience. You just sit in the airplane and then some year next seat it's occupied by really big and a huge large volume of the person. So it is really difficult to sit in your, uh, like your chair. So that is the static hindrance. So if you are now using half new tetrachloride, definitely there are a lot of the nucleation uh, adsorption site. But once this half new tetra uh, tetrachloride occupy this one point, the other adsorption site is not uh, is not easily occupied by the other one because the static hindrance from this uh, the bulk the uh, the ligand and uh, that interfere that hinder the adsorption of the another the precursor on adsorption site. So this this is the main reason for the lower GPC than the theoretical the GPC. So this is the very straightforward the simulation. We made it and then so we have silicon precursor and then adsorption uh, top view of the silicon precursor which already absorb on the surface is looks like that. We simplify this and then this is the adsorption, the simulation, Monte Carlo simulator is very easy the approach and then we didn't uh, like consider some interaction between this precursor and we just only consider the size effect of the precursor. The green dot is a, a, a theoretical adsorption side of the silicon sur surface and then this precursor is trying to absorb on the surface but all of the most of uh, all of the adsorption side is not are not occupied by the silicon precursor due to the static hindrance. So after the full exposure, the coverage is around the 50%. It's very interesting region. So this is another really good example. So we use uh, two different precursors, hafnium tetrachloride and hafnium ethyl chloride. So as you expected that this precursor molecule is much smaller than this. This is the top view and projection area of the precursor. This is the area size. And then this is the uh, inverse value of this. If this is the one, and then this is going to one, uh, 0 0.44. So the number of molecule per unit area is almost 2.27. So unit area number of molecule is one. So that means in a limited lateral size of area, if this precursor absorb one pre one of these precursor absorb on the surface, this number of precursor of this precursor absorb on the surface is 2.27. So that means we have the larger number of the precursor molecule. That means we have the higher probability to make the hafnium oxide on the surface. This is the growth rate. So this is the hafnium tetrachloride growth rate. This is the hafnium ethyl CP ethyl cyclopentanyl chloride uh, growth rate. Interestingly, this is a much larger than this. We expected that. And then the ratio is exactly the same to 1 to 2.27. So well, definitely we have to, well, we have done the calculation of the reactivity between these two different precursors. So we have to make sure the reactivity uh, does not affect the static hindrance. But interestingly, the, our very simple calculation is very well matched with this our experimental region. So this is the one strong example for.